so nuclear medicine has become one of the most important clinical practices for diagnosis and treatment of many diseases especially of cancer for this purpose we use gamma camera what is gamma camera gamma camera is basically a device that is uh, you can say imaging device that detects the radiations emitting from entire field of view let's see what actually happens uh, the patient is injected with radioactive isotope and the patient lies on the table. After the de decaying process, the radiations emitting gamma radiations emitting from the patient's body reach towards the gamma camera. So there are many components of gamma camera. You can see the first component is polymeter, the next component is crystal, photomultiplier tube, and so on. After going towards these different components, the camera camera converts these gamma radiations into the you know uh, visible picture. So it is the best diagnosing image or device. First component of gamma camera is collimator. Collimator is you know most significant component of gamma camera. So you can see it consists of hexagonal shape of tasseless tubes. All of them are in the shape of hexagonal. So what happens when we don't use a collimator? The gamma rays emitting from a patient's body cannot be focused using lenses, as in case of light. So when we don't use a collimator, you can see there is a detector, the sources, and radiations coming from the source go directly towards the detector. So for you know when we don't use the collimator, the non-parallel radiations reach the detector. That makes the image blur. So in actual practice, we use a collimator. There is a detector. And before a detector, we use collimator. The sources and the radiation coming from the source first go towards the collimator, then move towards the detector. So the radiations which are non-parallel to the detector are absorbed by the collimator. And the radiations that are parallel to the collimator go the first chance, go the chance to you know, move towards the detector. This makes the image more clear and more, you know, desirable image. The second component of gamma camera is detector. It consists of a scintillation crystal. So what is a scintillation crystal? This crystal basically converts the light photons. Any other photon, it converts the, you know, high energy photon into light energy photons. Let's get into it. There is a gamma photon and when it hits the scintillation crystal, it converts these gamma photons into tiny flashes of visible light. So what just happened? A high energy gamma photon converts into small, low energy of visible lights. The phenomenon called Compton effect happened here. So what is Compton effect? In Compton effect, when high energy of gamma photon hits the, hits the crystal, it converts into low energy photon. So this is actually happening here. So Compton effect is basically happening here. High energy photon is absorbed by the crystal and it converts into low energy visible light photons. The next is photomultiplier tube. And uh, it consists of a scintillator, photocathode, series of dynodes and anode. Okay. So when the gamma photon hits the scintillation crystal, it converts into visible light photons due to the phenomenon called Compton effect. And when these visible light photons go towards the photocathode, it converts the photon into photoelectron. So what happens? I mean, the photo visible light photon converts into photoelectron. How does it happen? It happened due to the phenomenon called photoelectric effect. In photoelectric effect, the high energy photon is absorbed by the atom. It can and it knock off the outermost shell electrons. So it actually happened here. And each dynode is given the high potential, increasing potential. We can see the first dynode contain one volt and the second two volt, and hence the potential of each dynode is increasing. So when this photoelectron go towards the first dynode it is accelerated towards the high potential 
as the potential of each dynode increases, the electron go towards the high potential dynode. And with, when it, it is accelerated towards the dynode, its kinetic energy increases. And due to this energy, the outermost shell electron of dynode gets kicked off. So uh, when, uh, you know, the high potential increases, it is more accelerated and it gains high energy, high kinetic energy, knock off more number of electrons. So in this way, large number of electrons get multiplied by the photon multiplier two, and it converts it into the signal call and it reaches the anode and converts it into signal. And this electronic signal is used to make uh, and it goes towards the ADC. ADC means analog to digital converter. It converts into dig digits and uh, you can, after it, you know, go to ADC, it go towards the process uh, for processing. For further processing, it go towards the computer and computer access this information and convert the, all the information into visible picture. So this is what happens.